perspective rulers in symmetry and stuff. It's it's been a long day. All right, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna talk about this perspective ruler that I don't like. I do not like the perspective ruler. I kind of don't like perspective rulers in general in most uh, pieces of software. But we're going to go here. So if we go down here to our ruler. There are a bunch of different rulers. Now, I do want to talk about uh, the, the symmetrical ruler first. So you can click onto the symmetrical ruler. It has number of lines too. Line symmetry. And I hit shift and release. Then, if I go up to pen, it, <laughs> make sure there's a color selected, we got ourselves a perspective ruler, right? And you can always delete the ruler. Now you can also, with this symmetry ruler, not, I'm sorry, a symmetry ruler, we can crank up the number of lines. All you got to do is just click. And then you go to whatever tool you want and you can make yourself a cool little mandela as they call it or flower or whatever it is and so there is a perspective or a, pers a symmetry ruler so now you're looking at this you're like special ruler ruler pen figure ruler all this other stuff here i don't really use all this stuff i just don't uh i just don't i because of the line tool uh, the line tool is just quicker and it's more efficient. So part of this course is also telling you the stuff that's just easier to work with. Because with this linear ruler, you can create a linear ruler and then you go in with like your pen. Wait a minute. There it is. Wait, perspective ruler. And it's, you got to get it. Cl I don't even know where it went to. But yeah, like all this stuff right here, it's there's easier ways of doing it, in my opinion. So let's go back here. So you get a symmetrical ruler, and then you look at it and you say perspective rule. You're like, great. And then it says add vanishing point, delete vanishing point, add guide, fix vanishing point, infantize, infantize. And you're like, wait a minute, what is this? Let's, let's get on here. Okay, so it says add a vanishing point. And you're like, I understand perspective. I Okay, what's going on here? Uh, let's hit shift. And then maybe my vanishing point is here. Oh, what's what just happened there? Uh, add another vanishing point? Okay. Um, well, let's try and draw. Wait, what? Why is this keep? And this is what you're going to do, because this is what I did for a long time. This is why I don't like the, the ruler. However, if you go up to layer and you go up to ruler frame, then you go down to create perspective ruler. You can get a one point, a two point. Let's click on two point, create a new layer, hit OK. Now, this is a little bit better but you're still trying to adjust this and you click on and, and it is a little bit of a, if you click on to this, this can adjust this and bring this down. And this right here turns the, the entire ruler and it levels it out. And then this moves around here and you're like, what? This is weird. Cause it is a little bit weird. I'm like, Oh, I can move this over here. And it looks weird because it does because these aren't big enough for you to really see. But down here we have ourselves a grid. So we have the XY plane, the XZ plane, or XZ, YZ, and XZ. So now we have this. So now this under I can understand this a little bit more because now it's giving me this grid. And then if I wanted to turn on the other side of the grid, now I zoom in and it makes a little bit more sense. And this one is the floor. So now it's giving me a lot of stuff here. And now when I go in and draw, now everything makes a lot more sense to me, right? Everything makes way more sense. 
This is the easier way to do this. And it looks a little, and it gets a little cumbersome because there's all these lines everywhere. Uh, but that's the perspective rule. This is your horizon line back here. And you can draw off of the page if you want. And you got to take your time when you're using any perspective tool. Because perspective tools sometimes do not play nice. And if you know certain things about perspective, like the further things get, the closer they get to the horizon line, the more they start to flatten out, the closer they get to the vanishing point, the smaller that these lines become, the smaller the space is. So that's your perspective tool. And from there, set cancel. So from there, you can now go in and you can Where's my slide at? This is a move layer. That's not gonna work. So I think once you got this down here, then you're kinda gotta deal with it a little bit. And it's gonna stay there. So you see I'm on these other layers here, and it's really staying onto the perspective. So you want to get all your perspective stuff down because it's a lot easier to do it that way. Um, so we go a new raster layer. So that this is going to be this is your perspective ruler. Uh, again, uh, not really a, a, a huge, huge perspective fan of this. Uh, because we got some cool shape tools over here that we can, that we can do. So I'm going to stop talking about this. And the last thing I think I want to show you is we will talk about the, the, the balloon tool, the shape tool. Uh, we'll just, we'll just finish up with the rest of our tools in the next video.